Hey guys, so I am here as promised with my haul. I I called this like a haul medley because it's a different mixture of like skincare, hair care, uh, beauty tools. Some of the things were also sent to me, so I will let you know what was sent to me. I have some of this stuff on my face right now and I will let you know my thoughts. So let's um, start, I'll start with hair. Um, as you know, I have gone gray or have done a gray ombre and my hair is, t I haven't actually let it out to show you guys what it looks like. It's filthy, I need to wash my hair, but I haven't been able to because I need a purple shampoo. Um, but uh, I was telling uh, my friend who did my hair, I suffer from like really bad dandruff. I don't know why, it makes me feel disgusting, it makes me feel dirty, it just makes me feel like I don't take care of, you know, my hair, and I know it's just my body producing its natural oils, whatever the hell, it's just so gross. So uh, she had this, I was kind of drawn to the packaging, but it's by a brand called Muck, and she says it's uh, an Australian brand, and this is called the Head Muck Dandruff Control Shampoo. I have not tried it yet, I have yet to try it. So. Um, she says that this really gets to the root of the problem and it uh, medicates the scalp versus like head and shoulders, which just, you know, it's kind of like a band-aid type thing. Next hair product is, of course, my trusty Orbe Dry Texture Raising Spray. And this, I didn't really purchase it. Uh, my stepsister, who was super kind to me, uh, I'm running out of my big bottle. I have maybe like this much left and I was going to repurchase one and uh, I was telling her about it and she was like, oh my god, I, I bought that but I don't really use it. So uh, she gave it to me. So I have a brand new bottle of uh, texturizing spray. I love this stuff. This is like the only styling product that I use in my hair. Okay, so let's move on to some drugstore bits. I haven't been to the drugstore in forever and drugstore I mean by like Target, Walmart, like those are the only areas that I go to. Uh, so I went to Target and I purchased the Garnier Micellar Water and this is, this is big overseas and they just brought it to the States. Uh, and I'm really curious to see how it compares to Bioderma. And then I purchased this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. I have been searching for this lip shade for ages. Um, and it was someone over in the UK that used it as well. And I can't remember who the hell it was. I can't remember what, what blogger or YouTuber it was. But anyway, uh, I have been after this color for ages. And it's just like a dark, vampy, you know, burgundy lip color. I feel like all that you guys can see is forehead. Um, anyway, I told you guys I placed an order with Sephora. Uh, I have a store near me, but I just went online and was looking around to see what new releases they had, and I purchased several things. So uh, let's okay, let's start off with this. This is not from Sephora. Um, what I have on my lips. This is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. It's a really popular shade. It was out of stock at my store for ages, and funny enough, I ordered this lip color went into the store and they had it in stock and it hadn't been in the store for months and I was like are you kidding me but um, anyway it was coming to the house and I didn't really care so uh, this is what it looks like it's just you know another brown nude surprise surprise uh, I am a huge fan I think I have another shade it's called I think it's called damned which is another dark vampy you know dark lip but the formula itself it's comfortable it's you know, it's really pretty. I absolutely love the formula of these liquid lipsticks. And I ordered some, let me see, what, did I, what else did I get? Okay, so I bought the repurchased, I should say, because I used to use this nonstop. And this is the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. For some odd reason, my Maybelline Full and Soft Waterproof, it's starting to run underneath my eyes. So I'm not sure why that is or what's changing so I decided to pick this up again and this does not budge and it makes my lower lashes just so long and full and it just gives them life because 
minor puny. This one's a concealer. It's a repurchase, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I always come back to this, no matter how many other concealers I try, but I like this more so for like blemishes now. Um, I won't use it underneath my eye. I like my Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer. I've been using that since I've gotten it and I haven't touched anything else. Um, but this I find to work better than any other concealer, especially when I have like some type of patch on my face. And then I also picked up the Naked Skin, what is this, Color Correcting Fluid. I thought this was really interesting. Sephora has this whole edit now that they're doing um, this like color correcting and they're teaching you what different tones do what, like what combats what on your face depending on what issues you're dealing with. I have dark circles and as of late they've been even darker. So uh, peach is a perfect, you know, corrector for me. So I've been using this underneath my Glossier um, concealer. And I really like this and I like the, the texture and the consistency of this to begin with the formula because um, I have tried the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer before um, but really really like this to go along with that I purchased the micro mini beauty blender I finally gave in I wasn't going to because uh, this has been out for a little bit and there's two of them that come in here but the, the one that I already have or I've used it and it's dirty but they're super mini and they're great for underneath the eye. They're great for, you know, buffing in my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer on spots that I might have. Um, but I'm really happy with it. I think they work really well. Uh, I like the Beauty Blender. The Beauty Blender, like, it is life-changing when I tell, I tell people, they're like, oh, $20 for a sponge. I'm like, give it a try. I promise you, you won't, you won't regret it. Next up, I picked up a foundation. Um, this I purchased because of Sabrina from uh, the Beauty Lip Book. I have been reading her blog for years now and anything she recommends, I feel like she is my go-to when I need an honest, truthful opinion about something and um, every single time she says something, it, that's exactly what happens, so I trust her. And uh, she spoke about the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. Now, I have not tried a stick foundation since like my Mac days when they had the Studio Tech in like a stick form. I don't know if it was like Studio Tech. I can't think of the name about, of it. But um, she was saying that this even rivals the Tom Ford stick, the Trace of stick, er, stick Foundation. But um, I was thinking about trying it to begin with just to try something new. And her review on it when she was, she did a whole post about color correcting and she picked this up. So she spoke about this and I was like, yeah, I need to go grab it. So I picked up the shade, it says 153 or Y405. Uh, again, I'm about a MAC NC35 and I found the best way to apply this is to warm it up with your fingers first because it is creamy and it is emollient enough that you can move it. Um, but if you go straight from the stick, I feel like it just doesn't, it's so hard to, you know, you're really tugging at your skin. Next thing that I picked up was this pharmacy hydrating coconut gel mask pack. It has three different face masks in a pack. There's a soothing, a brightening, and then a deep moisture. I've already used the deep moisture. It's one of those like jelly uh, face masks. I told you I'm obsessed with sheet masks right now. And um, this is supposed to be really, you know, natural and hydrating. This brand, I haven't heard too much about it. I think it's a newer brand. They just brought it in, which of course perked my interest even more, which is why I picked it up. Um, but they're made in Korea. It's, you know, so it has all these, you know, nice herbal properties to them. Like I said, I use the deep moisture one and I love it. It's so good. Dr. Jart uh, were kind enough to send me some more sheet masks because I love them so much. Um, I have this All That Contours one 
and this poor minimalist one with this which is like a charcoal one I'm really excited to try this even though I, I don't I'm not breaking out at the moment but for a day that I am I'll use it and then there's the brightening infusion hydrogel mask and then there's some poor master patches which is those like it makes it made me think of like my high school days when I used the Biore or Bior uh, you know the strips that freaking hurt the hell out of your nose and then they also sent me this BB brush radiance boosting glow cover now at first I wasn't sure what the hell how to put this on um, because I'm like is it like a B cream or is it like an illuminator or you know SPF because it has an SPF of 30 but it definitely I treat this more of like a highlight so it's one of those squeezy things and it comes out of the brush so I just take some out on my fingers rub it on between my fingers I'm sorry and then just pat it on the areas that I would put my highlight on and it's very very natural it just look it makes the skin look so healthy uh, it's not what I'm wearing today but I absolutely love this stuff this stuff is really good and I'm really glad that they sent it to me because I would have never thought to pick it up I would have been like mm, that's way too light for me or something like that so um, I didn't realize that it was just an, a highlighter an actual highlighter so pretty happy that they sent that Okay, and then I picked up two random things, or not random things, but from beauty counters. Um, I got Max Lip Liner in, oh, shit, I'll get out of my hand. Um, Max Lip Liner in Oak. I, I don't, I'm just like a lip person. I think lip colors and lip liners are like my favorite thing to purchase. And then I purchased like the same color. I just have an abundance of these types of shades, but Oak is, a uh, more of like a nudie brownie kind of shade and it's a lot lighter than strip down strip down is like it has a lot of brown to it this is definitely more nudier uh i don't really wear nude lips but i have been pairing this with what is it charlotte tilbury's hepburn honey lipstick i haven't worn that in a while but i was pairing it with this last week i think i wore it like two or three times and i'm a huge fan I really really like the shade of this uh, lip liner and then I picked up I think my most favorite thing that I out of this whole you know haul uh, is the Tom Ford eye defining pen in the shade deeper I thought it was completely asinine to spend the amount of money it cost for this it's just it's a liquid liner but oh my goodness it is so worth it like I almost want to buy another one just to have a backup because if this runs out I don't know what I'm gonna do type thing um, it's what I'm wearing on my eyes today it is so easy to maneuver this pen and to just create a really sharp precise flick it is jet black um, it's not that shiny glossy black which I absolutely hate I hate liquid liner that's shiny I don't know why no offense to anyone who likes it obviously um, it's just my personal taste I don't like it it can be a little you know shiny but like that satiny kind of glossy liner I just am not a fan but this isn't like that at all and then it's double-sided it has the fine point on one end and then I got some on me nice and then it has this really really tiny nib so it's really good for filling in it's do you know do, I don't know if you guys find with liquid liner sometimes uh, especially because this is synthetic and this is a felt tip so this part um, when I use my Kat Von D one it's still good and it was what I was using up until this point but I found that uh, if I had eyeshadow underneath and I was making a flick over top that the liner or the actual bristles would get stuck and wouldn't you know glide along the eyeshadow it was just um, because they would rub it become dry and it was like I was tugging at my eye to get you know the product out not with this like this just it just it's like butter <laughs> on your eyes I don't know how to explain it um, it is so worth getting um, it will have its own little post because I'm so like that's how happy I am with it 
Okay, so that was it. That was all of the crap that I have accumulated um, over the past, you know, two or three weeks, I think. I've had this stuff for uh, some of it like I said I tried and others I didn't I will keep you posted on everything uh, but I am super happy with everything that I got uh, and I think that's it um, I did I did go have a facial with Dermalogica and they did this skin mapping thing um, I think I'm gonna write about that and let you guys know how my first facial experience was because I've never had a facial before but that was um, I fell asleep. That's how good it was. I was knocked the hell out. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do a post about that. And what else? What else did I want to tell you guys? I can't think now. I think that's it. Yeah. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.